Hello guys, we are back with our next set of lectures. In this lectures, we are going to start the third unit of disaster management guys. So in the first unit and second unit, we discussed about multiple disasters, right? Yes. So for any disaster, it might be there will be some management cycle or some plans and everything, right? So that is what we'll be discussing completely in this unit guys in unit three. Okay. Okay. So in this lecture, let us go through disaster management cycle guys okay so there is a particular management cycle which we have already discussed in multiple lectures guys so in uh, environmental studies also we discussed about this topic guys okay okay so let us again discuss now in this lecture we'll be discussing it in detail guys like we'll be discussing some more points and in depth okay okay so just give me a second okay now it's fine okay so disaster management cycle so disaster management cycle will be having four different phases guys you can say four different phases okay so the first phase is mitigation and prevention so few might be saying that why you wrote prevention prevention should not be written here so few might be saying but it, de it depends guys so basically in textbook it is given mitigation and prevention so that's the reason why i have written in this way okay okay after that preparedness after that response after that recovery so these are the four phases and you might be having it out that okay so when does the disaster occur okay so basically before disaster mitigation and prevention and preparedness will be done guys so these two activities or two phases belong before the disaster occurrence once a disaster occurred we'll be responding it and we'll be recovering from it so these two phases come after disaster before disaster and here is the disaster okay so now i hope everyone got a clear idea about disaster management cycle right okay so now let us go to the points guys after that i'll be explaining you okay okay so mitigation and prevention so to prevent future emer emergencies and take steps to minimize the effect so basically mitigation or prevention so basically the word sorry the word mitigation might be a bit new for you but prevention i hope everyone knows so prevention is nothing but they will be saying prevention is better than cure right so before it occurs only we will be taking some precautions so that is nothing but prevention so to prevent further emergencies like in further in future or in further situations you might be having an issue so it is better to take steps now only take steps to minimize this effect okay so the mitigation and prevention phases occur before the disaster takes place yes, we discussed about that so here an organization will take steps to protect people property while decreasing the risk and consequences for a given disaster situation so basically if your company or if you are living in a place where there is an earthquake so you will be building your construction or you will you will be getting a place where the buildings are constructed in a proper way which can withstand an earthquake like that you will be discussing you will be thinking right so that all comes under the mitigation guys like initially only you will be pre preventing these kind of things okay okay so similarly the organization's main goal is to reduce the vulnerability of disaster impact such as a property injuries or lives loss so basically these are the major disaster things right the causes or the effects which will be for future like effects we can call which will be for future like damage of the property or injuries or loss of lives like people okay so the main goal of mitigation is to reduce these values that's it okay okay so i hope everyone got a clear idea about mitigation right okay so basically remember in this way it is nothing but to prevent something bad to happen guys or to reduce its effect that's it so that is nothing but mitigation or prevention okay okay so the second phase okay i think uh, writing the phases will be good right so this is the second phase and that is the first phase okay so second phase to take that is nothing but preparedness to take actions ahead of time to be ready for the emergency so basically anything could happen anytime right yes so we don't know when it is going to happen so it is always better to be ready for it so assume that your semester exams dates were not declared so in that time you need to prepare in the holiday so in that way everything will be working right so you should be prepared for anything if they give the exam date is tomorrow you should be ready for it so that's the whole thing okay so to take actions ahead of time to be ready for an emergency okay planning how to respond okay so you should plan how to do or how if something happens what to do like most of the students will not be preparing but that will be a good idea i'm talking in that way okay okay so it focuses on understanding how a disaster might impact the community and how education outreach training can build 
capacity to respond and recover from the disaster okay so basically if there is a proper preparation even the response and recovery will be faster and easier guys because the effect will not be that much than the previous right so in that way so pre disaster strategies strategies planning is done so basically there will be a particular plan if something happens we need to do that if something happens we need to do this like that okay like assume in that way that your company is located in a low lying area whereas uh, there is a high chance of occurrence of a floods like your office is in a low lying area and it is a sea coast or a river coast you can say okay so in that way or it is on the way of a dam okay okay so in that situations you know that there is a high chance so always you will be having some emergency gates like where to go so if there is a news that the flood is coming you should go out of the building and you should stay in some safe place right so that things like what to do if something happens that comes under preparedness guys okay so provide more information on how to better prepare on the organization for a disaster organization of a disaster so something happens what to do how to do everything will be discussed in this like in this point right okay okay so the third phase is a nothing but a response guys so till now the the disaster has occurred and there is a effects on the surroundings and everything so now your response will be matters a lot right so what is the response that you are giving okay okay so to protect people and property in the wake of an emergency or crisis so basically if something bad happens you should make sure that you are protecting everyone and the property right yes so the res- the response phase occurs immediately after the disaster okay organizations must focus their attention on addressing immediate threats to the people property and business so basically this point indirectly says that you should do some evacuation or emergency reliefs so basically if there is a flood all the buildings which might be having any issues like there could be collapsing and everything right so there could be power cuts and everything so these kind of villages or places should be evacuated by the people evacuation is nothing but you will be making them to change their location for a while so everyone will be going in boats or any kind of vehicles and they'll be taken into the safer places where there is no water or anything so i mean there is no floods or any kind of issues right so that is nothing but evacuation and any emergency relief so so basically even at that places also there could be some injuries for these people right so who are faced multiple issues so you should maintain some relief camps and everything should be maintained so that these things comes under response so basically once it happens so what to do okay like there will be multiple effects right so what to do after that how to evacuate them how to do everything will be coming under response okay so there is a popular word that is called as a triage guys t r i a g e triage okay so it is nothing but sorting patients based on their injuries guys so basically if assume that there is a fire accident or any kind of accident so basically in that there will be at least a few people will be injured right so basically whom should be treated first or whom should be given high priority so these things will be determined by this guys you say sorting out of patients based on severity of injury so that will not be a good idea but that's a thing that they will be following okay okay similarly as the response period progresses so focus will typically shift from immediate res- emergency issues to conducting repairs restoring and everything so basically once everything will be falling into place right slowly like if flood occurs it will not last for many long days or long time right so it will be leaving the places and it will be going under underground right so the water will be sinking into the ground yes so all those things will be happening okay so once the response of everything is done so then you need to plan for wh- how to resolve the issues so if there is a collapse of a building how to clean it how to remove all the pieces or how to remove all the broken pieces how to clean it how to reinstall it or how to do recovery of recovery for that so that comes under the next step guys okay okay so we'll be introducing that here okay there are five major factors that are comes under response is nothing but nature and extent of a destruction environment of disaster available resources choose and response action understanding of effective policies so basically these are some factors which you can say which res- which comes under response okay similarly the fourth stage or the fourth phase is nothing but recovery so everything has happened and the response was really good so now it's time for the re- recovery team to recover everything okay so c- constructing some kind of uh, damage thing like roads and all those things okay okay so to re- to rebuild after a disaster in an effort to return the 
operations are back to normal. So basically, assume that there is an earthquake and the road has got many cracks and the layers have been moved up and down. So in that situation, you need to block the whole road for a few days and you should reconstruct it, right? Like you sh should redo the whole road by making multiple things, right? So the, this comes under the recovery. So bringing back, bringing it back to normal, okay? Okay, so the recovery phase takes place after a disaster occurred. Yes, because before disaster, what will you do, guys? How, what will you recover? Yes, yes. So this phase is a restoration of organization followed by the impact of disaster. Okay, so the recovery phase of a disaster can last anywhere from six months to one year, guys. So these things will be called as a short, else any more than, any more than one year, we'll be calling it as a long term. Okay. Okay, so I hope everyone got a clear idea on the five stages, right? So now let us go through something which is called as planning, guys. So basically, if the disaster recovery is done, we will be having some plans, right? So what to do first, how to document it, how to develop it and everything, right? Yes. So everything will be planned. Sorry, sorry for that, guys. So everything will be planned, guys. So risk assessment, development, documentation, implementation, testing, maintenance, a disaster, maintains a disaster recovery plan. So if something goes wrong, they should have a plan, right? So how to build it, how to recover it. So even when a company ha handovers or takes a project, it will be creating multiple documents and multiple seminars will be taken, multiple models will be, will be designed like that, right? So in the same way, they will be planning the, how to recover also. If there is a road damage, how to recover it. So if there are earthquake due to earthquake and due to earthquake and there are multiple ups and downs in the roads so they need to again dig the whole thing they need to do multiple things right so everything will be planned guys okay okay so there must be a disaster recovery committee that should include like if it is a company it should include each and every company member who is of each department okay so departments might be include like management department infrastructure department record management building maintenance department so from each department the head or someone should be there as representative because they will be having a clear idea right so what is wrong and how it is going wrong right yes so the committee with which takes the decision on what to do and how to do and when to do so these are the things that they will be taking if you take a small example of a collapsed building that will be nothing but a temporary housing for them so temporary space for them okay Okay, so I hope everyone got a clear idea about a disaster management cycle, right? Okay, okay. So in the next lecture, we will be discussing about prevention, guys. So what is prevention and how you can do prevention? Like what are the different, different things you should, you can use, okay? So let us meet in the next lecture and let us continue, okay? Thank you. Thanks for watching.